they just got themselves uh, some COVID tests and they did not they got go themselves, so well. They, they got themselves some COVID. COVID. I got themselves some COVID. They didn't go so well. Uh, we're up to 11 right now, apparently. Yeah. Uh, total uh, with the Tennessee Titans. So what does the commissioner do? He says we're putting a halt to this. We are postponing the game between the Titans and the Steelers. If we not be playing the schedule on Sunday, we're moving it forward. And we will figure it out. So is this bad precedent? Because my guess is right now you're setting up optics man out there. That if it happens to another team, let's say the New England Patriots, next week, you pretty much have to postpone the game, do you not? They've given an optics man. Yeah, right? But yeah, oh, he's got his fingerprints all over. It's not a surprise at all. Because that's what everyone did. But I thought the NFL, I thought Roger Goodell, I thought, I thought the NFL was so powerful. I thought Roger Goodell is the type of guy that would just push through it. Roger Goodell doesn't care. It's the NFL. They're so popular, they don't care at all. Uh, baseball's doing their thing. Ha, ha, ha. We have to see how the NFL handles it. They're going to handle it fine. They're going to play right through it. Ah! What do they do? Baseball, but they can't oh! postpone a game. <laughs> they postpone a game because of it. Let me show guy. you. That, yeah, this is what everybody has to do right now. They they unfortunately had to do it. I don't think they should have, but this the Optics man still breathes. Optics man was lying in the weeds. He was, hurt, he was hurting a little bit because yeah. Optics man is still pissed that the NFL had their trap. They're pissed. <laughs> they're pissed. The NFL is in the streets. Carnage in the People are struggling. How can you give out millions of dollars? Optics man is like bloodied. He's in the corner. You know what I mean? And then all of a sudden, you know, so, you know, here it comes, it's like, <gasps> I'm alive. I'm back. Yeah, you, I am back. You know what I feel like Optics Man got new life? I feel like he was kind of beat because Optics Man tried to ruin baseball. Yeah. He tried. Yeah. They survived. Yep. A couple teams kind of got hit, but guess what? They still made the playoffs and the season is still going on. So the ball is there. That was a thriving. Yeah. Yeah. Optics Man who tried to ruin the NBA. Yeah, look what's going on. Yeah. Look what's going on in Florida. They're, 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 they're putting their citizens at risk. They're all going to die. Then optics man for the last two and a half months, you haven't, uh, two months, you haven't heard it. It's actually nothing happened in Florida. How could you put a bubble in that hotbed? <laughs> and what happened? Now they played the NBA. And oh, by the way, why haven't I heard anything about Florida's deaths? I know there are lag times, right, with the hospitalizations yeah. and the deaths. It, it's weird how I stopped hearing about how bad Florida was going to end up. But optics man, all of a sudden, it's just been seriously just. They've well, been sitting in the corner and they're like, I'll see you in the fall. Yeah. Yeah. Man of those overly concerned of the perception. Winter's my time. And you know what, Roger Goodell? Okay, Optics Man. You win. Well, you know what? You can see a little hint of how Optics Man was starting to kind of, you know, control the NFL, control Roger Goodell. It's the whole mask situation. All right, all right, Optics Man. So here's what we're going to do for you. We're going to test every day. We're going to have some real you know, strict rules and regulations. Uh, we're not going to wear masks in the meeting rooms, but if you want us to, sure, we will. Then we're going to hop on a plane. We're going to go to a hotel. We're all going to eat together. But on the sideline optics, man, we're going to take our mask off because really, what's the big deal? Oh, no. Oh, no. That's when you, that's, that's when you have to really listen to what I'm saying. So optics, man, started forcing Goodell to find people, to find teams, to find coaches. I mean, it's, it was ridiculous how much how much power he has over the NFL. I, listen, I can see we are weak. We gave in. We beat the NFL. We did because you think I the thought NFL's they would push handle, through. I you, did. You think the NFL's going to handle it? Baseball. Manfred's so weak. Baseball's so weak. Wait till, you, wait till Roger Goodell gets a hold of it. He's going to play through it. He's going to look at it. All right, man. And he's going <laughs> to knock him out, punch him right in the face. <laughs> Roger Goodell, this is the NFL. <laughs> game canceled. <laughs> postpone the game. Postpone. I love it when people say, well, there's no problem with postponing the game. Five players. And they're coming up with week, moving, in, moving the race from week seven to week eight nearby and this and that. I heard this morning, I, I heard Wiggy say, that's easy. All they have to do is move the, the Super Bowl game another week. Well, what if the two participants in the Super Bowl don't have time off? They, I, rather, they don't get postponed any of their games. What are they going to sit around and wait three or four weeks to play on Super Bowl time. game? Unprecedented oh, time. Oh, stop it. Stop it. So this is the, the issue. What? Are any of these... <laughs> are you, any, both, you postpone it. Are any of these guys really sick? Oh, what, what do you mean? Well, they are they sick, sick? Brable said they are. Are they asymptomatic? But Brable said that some of these guys are actually have flu-like symptoms and are sick. Okay. But there's 11 guys total, as you mentioned. Six are personnel. Yeah. 
and five are players. Yeah, right. So I had one extra guy. First it was ten, now it's eleven. So, okay, and then the team that, oh, so Minnesota, zero. They don't have any chance. They should cancel. Tennessee should probably, they should be forced to cancel the season, right? Take them out of the league. Yeah. Don't, 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 bring, yeah. don't bring up that suggestion yeah. thing. I mean, don't, don't bring it, don't even bring it up. I don't know. Does anybody care about, I thought myocarditis was like a big thing. I mean, yeah. these guys have it. I mean, these guys' hearts are now, the muscles are on the heart. Like, that was the big 10, right? Yeah, I mean, you all these guys heart have disease. it. See, no, they're making fun of heart disease, but it's like, we're going to go full-blown panic. Let's do it. You know, we got five guys right now. We don't care about them. See, here's the problem with, with what we're doing by postponing games. And I understand locking everything down and trying to be as safe as you possibly can and getting those players out to test positive. And I think we've learned to this point, maybe it happens in the next two days, but so far, so far, as you say, not a single Viking has tested positive. So apparently they didn't contract it during the game. But if the precedent now is, uh-oh, we have to bow down to optics, man, and this is what we're going to do if some guys test positive. I hate to tell you, there are more guys that are going to test positive. We all said this before the season began. It's going to happen because it is a disease that is very contagious, right? We know that, a virus that's extremely contagious. Now, most people are asymptomatic, especially in the age group we're talking about, with these professional athletes. But is that what we're going to do? Every time it happens, cancel game. I hate to tell you, you'll be playing the Super Bowl on June 15th. That's what you'll well, be we're playing. We're having the NBA playoffs, uh, the NBA finals in October. <laughs> so what the hell? I mean, it is the new normal, Glenn. But let us see how many times I can use all our COVID <laughs> phrases. How many How many can I go? Go with go. I like this one, too. Palacero, who had the news uh, you know, about the, the postponement of the games, also had this little nugget. The bus driver who drove the Tennessee Titans last weekend to Minnesota also drove the Houston Astros to their playoff series this week against the Twins. Their source. Contact tracing. The, the Astros removed the driver. <laughs> MLB says we are aware of the situation. We're comfortable that all of our health and safety protocols have been followed. So, yeah, I mean, the guy's driving the bus. Does he have a mask? He's probably yeah, in I'm a... Sure he does. I don't know. I haven't, been on a, I haven't been on a bus, you know, like a team bus, but I'm guessing that guy's got plexiglass all mm -hmm. in him. Right yeah. Yeah. Like, he is in his own little bubble. You right? Would, yeah. So, okay, we'll go. You, you would say. But, yeah, Minnesota's, Minnesota's fine. I think they're supposed to reopen their facility this morning, right? So, yeah, so, yeah. so, so Tennessee, so, Tennessee's going to remain closed until further notice. Minnesota is getting ready to play. Correct. I don't know who they have. Houston, I'm not even sure. But they're, they're playing. Unless somebody tests positive today or tomorrow. So there is no Steelers-Ravens game. Sorry, there is no Titans-Steelers game, period. They basically have a bye week. So what they're doing is they're, right. make, they're making the Ravens move their practice bye week. So they're moving the Steelers-Ravens from week 7 to week 8. Steelers and the Ravens both have a bye in week eight. The Steelers and the Titans are going to now play in that week seven. The Titans have a bye in week seven. So one of the two teams that was scheduled had a bye, and they're asking the Ravens to move in. And the Ravens are like, mm, no. No longer. I mean, they're asking the Ravens. I mean, hey, uh, we're telling, telling them. Because we're all in this together. Is this a, a 